can't marry a man that is lazy. Some other women are gifted. They have grace. But you see, the Bible makes it clear that I'm your helper. I'm not, I'm not sent to collect work from you. I'm sent to help you. So you must be doing something for me to help you. So, ladies, you will celebrate now. Okay. Because I, what I see in this generation, I'm, I'm, I'm blown away. Listen. Don't marry, I'm planning to. Do you know I'm planning to? I'm planning to actually, actually, when somebody says actually three times in one sentence, it's not husband material. I'm planning to is not a job. If a man, see, I can understand if he doesn't have billions, but you must be, ah, you, how can you go out? You can't buy pure water. So there's no water in the house. We, you, you wait for me to come home before you drink water. Never. Come on, man that is lazy. You must be doing something so that when I come, I will help that something be better. For you to expect that you just, when you marry a woman, all your problems are solved. Because that's what I see in this generation. Come marry a man that is lying to since since I know Pasquet says it so beautifully. He says, don't marry potential, marry a man's patterns. Don't marry his potential. Marry his patterns. You'll be looking now. He, he graduated at 25. He's now 39. He's been planning to from that 25 to 39. How can somebody plan to for years? And they don't have small, small drink. They are planning to do big things. I'm planning to own a, you know, a company that um, actually... We're still doing the, you know, I have all my business plan and all my, um, actually, it's just um, the, just the investors who I'm still speaking to. So, um, maybe, you know, we're just considering me. story, story, bring out 10,000 naira, you cannot. I can't, so. So when I met Pastor Kay, he didn't have money, but I could see that there was progress in his life. So I could see somebody had moved from Palo. By the time I came, they were already in Rochester Gardens. They were doing almost three services. So there was progress. So when I started with six people, already had about 350 people. There was progress. He had a house where he was living. Not that all of us go and squat inside his room that he has been staying since he was five years old. We now move into his parents' house and we now come and join him in that room that was not big enough for him when he was five. And then you are complaining that your mother-in-law is disturbing you. She can't, you see, you can't have two queens in one ca ca palace. It's not done. And then he will not tell you, uh, she's my mother, you're my wife. I don't want to get into the middle of this. You are, you are, you are this. You are not even in the middle. <laughs> See, I cannot stand a lazy man. Especially a lazy man, who, a man who is lazy mentally. You can't, you can't have questions ask him. You can't have issue. Issue. You know issue? When you have a problem that you have prayed, you, have, you don't know, you just say, ah, honey, I don't know, how, how do I do this thing? Is that what you I said, what? Oh. oh. He must make an effort. There must be an effort. When I remember, okay, you did, I mean, he didn't have liquid. It wasn't liquid, like plenty money. But he had a house he was staying. He had a car he was driving. I saw his faith had produced. He had dreams that I knew that if I came on board and I put my own favor on it, it would produce. What do you do, want to do? I'm not really sure. I'm still believing God. For 25 years, you have been believing God. Even if God was wicked, maybe by 15 years. You can't be. You, ah, hmm. I can't marry a lazy man, personally. So, ladies, it depends on you. I also can't marry a man who is not secure. A man who doesn't have a healthy self esteem. No. Because I am not going to do my shine for you. Mm -mm. There are things God has told me He will do in my life. You have to also be doing something great and be confident in what you are doing. It's not that when I'm doing well, you'll not be intimidated by it. You see, it's an insecure man that when you marry him and you are doing well, maybe you come back from work tired that day and you go and lie down and say, eh, Because you're not any more than me, we cannot eat in this house. You cannot greet. You cannot. 
That's where everything you do. You go to the bathroom, he says, because you are now any more than me, you now decide to use the bathroom before me in the morning. What's, what's the problem? If you frown because your tummy is paining you, you say you are proud. If you not as you know, I, I, I can't. Who is secure in himself. So if God is blessing me, he's even proud of me, not intimidated by me. A man who is healthy, he has a healthy self-esteem, not intimidated by me. Not intimidated, but at the same time, he must not be vain, he must not be arrogant. So a healthy self-esteem, but not arrogance or pride. Hmm. I can't marry a man who likes me more than me. You, you know those kind of men? Do you know there are men that carry mirror about? Oh, I had a friend like that. He carries mirror and small comb that uses to brush his brow. Hey. So when we are looking, when we are looking for comb to straighten our edges, we we'll go and beg him. Say, you get powder there. You say, let me just check. Go yes! And girls like, some girls like it. I don't want you to be rough. Be vain. What's that? When you want to take selfie, you now do you not you not take the selfie, you will be fully inside. You you'll be in the corner. It's removing. <laughs> so I come by a man who is vain. I want a man with a healthy self-esteem, but at the same time, he must not be vain. Okay? Also, for me, I come by a man who doesn't have a vision for his life. He must have a plan. I, I I'm not of the school of thought where you say, eh, let's just be see how it goes. If we don't have a plan, it can't go. So what are we seeing? So let's just see how it goes. Let's just see. No, you must have a plan. You must tell me where you are going. What do you want to achieve with your life? And your vision must be large enough to accommodate my own. Because I have a plan. And I have a vision. So if a man doesn't have a vision, no. The Bible says that without vision, the people enter an inferior condition. That's what one version says. An inferior that condition. A plan God had for you. There's a state your life should turn out. But if you don't have a vision, you can't get there. How do we get to where we don't know where we're going to? So I see a lot of guys who are just, they're just flowing, just enjoying life, just grooving, just, and the girl is just happy to be at this party, be at that party, be in his car, be in the, what's the plan for his life? Money, they finish you. Ha! If you don't invest money, you will see that money is the most useless thing you can have in your life. So he, maybe he, money now. Dad, he will just be like the prodigal son. He will waste it. So he must have a plan. Money comes into his hand. How does he spend it? What does he plan to do with it? In the next 10 years, where does he see himself going? Ah, praise God. Every woman should marry a man who is accountable. A man that does not have anyone that he's accountable to is a dangerous man. If he doesn't have mentors, he doesn't have pastor, he doesn't have anybody that he respects, he doesn't have anybody that if they call him, he will say, yes, sir. Hey, it's the most dangerous thing you can do to yourself. Because the Bible says that you will submit to him. See, all this love you are doing when you marry, God expects that you submit to your things. But if you submit to someone who is not submitted to anybody, that's disaster going somewhere to happen. Nobody can call him and say, come. Don't talk to your wife like that again in your life. Have you heard? And he will say yes and he will change. I'm not talking mentor that you say, who is your mentor? You say, uh, uh, T.D. Jakes, <coughs> John Maxwell. You know I'm into leadership? Nonsense. Those just, John Maxwell have your number. Can we call John Maxwell and he will call you to order? He must have somebody that he, re he respects. Somebody that I don't have a problem. See, John Maxwell is all of us mentor. Is he not your mentor? It's not your mentor. It's my mentor. All of us mentor. So you cannot intimidate us. Because how is he mentoring you? It's not that you go to Latin and buy a book. Uh -huh. We should know where we sell his books. But I'm talking about somebody that if your head is touching or a wire gets loose, because it always does, at least once or twice in every marriage. There must be something. The man will just say, I know what I'm doing. You don't know what you are doing. And if I tell you, you will not listen. So I have to call your pastor. I say, sir, that thing you told me that his brain will lose, it is loose. 